A former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Olisa Agbakuba, has criticized the campaign manual unveiled by President Muhammad Buhari, which he called a complete disaster. The co-chairman of the National Intervention Movement, which is a coalition of several political parties, might endorse former Vice President Atiku Abubakar as its consensus presidential candidate. He said the president's campaign document has no conceptual overhang, while noting that the one unveiled by the PDP candidate, Atiku Abubakar, addresses national needs. I'm pro Atiku because I think he has the heavy lifting. But I will not preempt anything by saying that others may not go. We are all united in a mantra, in a swan song around our campaign. And that is anybody but Buhari. That's the campaign. Anybody but Buhari. We are making sure that the four locust years of 2015 to 2019 will never repeat itself in Nigeria again. This has been the worst government in Nigeria's history. Unemployment rates are 20 million. Youth unemployment is so high. Inflation is raging at about 18%. Uh, borrowing requirements are at about interest rates 22%. Nothing is working. I know, I'm sure you all know that. So we need to do something to reclaim it. Well, Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to the President, Femi Adesino, joins me live now from Abuja. Thank you for joining me this hour. Thank you. Well, Olisa Agbakogwa just released a statement saying President Buhari's campaign manual is a complete disaster. How do you react to that? Well, uh, Mr. Agbakogwa has a, a right to his opinion. It's a democracy. So he has a right to his opinion, and uh, he, he, he won't be hung for it. Indeed, he won't. But um, besides um, Olisa Agbakuba, other critics in the country are also saying that Nigeria under President Buhari isn't working. How do you respond to that? And there are millions upon millions of Nigerians who believe that the country is working and the country is in safe hands. And, uh, you know, democracy is still a game of numbers. So if we will get to that point where the numbers will determine who is right and who is wrong. Politics is played out there in the field. It's not played in lawyers' offices and uh, it's not played by demagoguery. It's just, it's just played according to numbers. That time is going to uh, be here with us soon, and the numbers will speak. All right, let's look at it this way. Um, Olisa Agbakogba was the former president of the Coalition of Civil Society Groups. In the likelihood that um, he backs former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, what then? Well, we, we should remember that uh, a coalition had earlier been set up this year and the coalition was to find what they called a, a third force or an alternative candidate to the candidates of both APC and PDP. And you've, you found prime movers of that coalition recently going to endorse the candidate of another party after mm. they had adopted a party that they will use for the election. I think it's absolute confusion. That coalition is in a disarray. So, I'm not surprised. Would you say that President Buhari's um, message addresses national needs? Yes, it's, it's, it, the, 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 the campaign manual is, is tagged the next level. It means that it's time for consolidation, it's time for progress, it's time for deepening of the work that has been done. A lot of work has been done except to the willfully blind who chooses not to see the work that has been done. But it doesn't stop anybody. It doesn't stop the millions and millions of Nigerians who see the work and who believe in President Buhari. If anybody chooses to be blind to the work or chooses to be deaf to the achievements being trumpeted, we wish the person good luck. No quarrels. 
Femi Adesino, Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to the President. Thank you for joining me on TVC News this hour. Thank you.